Okay, we're rolling. Oh, and by the way, I got my batteries and card for my camera, so now I can communicate just very little. <laughs> but what I did to this right here is I bought the mower with a motor and everything like it was. 500 bucks. Okay. And I did some research on this thing right here. This when this rolled off the floor, it was sixteen thousand nine hundred and nine seventeen thousand something dollar mower with tax and everything. And it's, well, them hydros make a difference. That big ass ten gallon tank, no problem. I put ten gallons in it and I still got room for five. But I, I did a retrofit is what I did. I put a Briggs and Stratton 26 horse on there. It had a 25 horsepower Kohler command that had throat rod, broke uh, camshaft, and well, it was just shot. So I bought the motor for 450, and I put about a hundred something bucks in it, and that's not including all the wire that I bought because I rewired it. Uh, so I got a little over, just roughly fifteen hundred dollars in this mower. And it is a monster. It sounds like a uh, World War II war, war bird. When it's when you crank them blades on, this baby's got something. And I got to get the wire that goes from the coal and the coal down here is the shutoff is what it is, a kill switch. But I didn't know, but it's got little diodes in it. Uh, I think he said they were half amp diodes and I found all that out by going and researching my guru online yeah I've been mowing <sighs> dusty I mowed the road I'm gonna mow that out there next get finished I've mowed all the way around all the trees and everything that's why I'm changing the blades now there's not too much out in the field but anyway, this sucker runs. It's nice. Uh, to shut it off, I had to disconnect it. Uh, yeah, it run. I mean, I spent two days screwing with the valves on this thing, trying to make it run, and I couldn't get it to run. And I got online and I checked with Terrell, and there's that damn wire. Let's see if she'll crank right up. So it runs the gas out, it don't want to crank right up. Because you have to turn the key off and let the carburetor shut it off. Alright, well I turned the key off and that's what it was. Alright, let's try it again. Damn it. I wanted to cut right off because everything fucking rattles. It ain't getting no gas. But there it is. Uh, and it runs. I mean, this sucker mows. And this thing will go uh, 18 miles an hour. I mean, it'll haul ass. Not that you're going to cut grass like that and have a nice smooth yard, but, you know, it will fucking haul ass. And, uh, 
powerful really powerful I had to stretch the exhaust this is the original Kohler and the ports are closer together on the polar on the Kohler so I had to stretch the exhaust for it I did this yesterday testing it I got hung up on my trailer I need to put that on but right now I'm testing it I gotta check everything out on it but I love it it works great <laughs> Yeah, we're dealing with a hurricane uh, situation here. It's house hit by a hurricane. Lost everything. The roof blew off. Well, we got a roof on it now. Well, that's fixed. So now we start working on the inside. Uh, a lot of mold remediation going on. Not my job.